Okay guys, uh, I'm just going to show you real quick on this Maruzin M1100 uh, shell ejection shotgun here. Uh, basically how it goes apart and comes together. I think like a quick overview video. I'm going to try to move really fast through it. On the back you have this gas reservoir. Uh, there's actually two uh, pins right here that you just squeeze together and then you can pull this out. Like so. Okay. Uh, and there's a screw on here. Inside there you can't see it really. There's a screw right there that'll pull all of this out. Uh, and then this whole stock should come off like this. Okay. Uh, you have this guide rod here for the screw. And this is the gas line to the reservoir. Um, I don't have this uh, receiver cover over top of it right now. Uh, basically, uh, there's two screws, one here and one there, and then there's this pin that goes all the way through it. The pin right here, and the screws are the ones with the uh, with the Torx heads on them, the on heads. Uh, so those will come off. You have to pull this uh, charging handle off. Uh, there's a screw in it right now. I have a cotter pin, but I have a screw for it that I put in there. So you just pull that off, and then this will just slide off. Um, and then you can pull the whole receiver off. It'll just slide right off the back like this. Let's see. I think when you pull those screws out, those pins, this will come off first, the trigger guard. As you can see, that it is broke. Uh, I have the other piece for it. It just needs to be... Uh, super glued back on. I just haven't got around to doing that yet. On the front, on the other side of this upper barrel is a little tiny set screw. Uh, just take that set screw off and uh, and then unscrew this. This screws into the loading tube here. Uh, undo that one screw. This bracket will come off. This will come off. Be careful because that's where the uh, spring goes in that, in that loading tube right there. Um, your sling mount will come free. And then you should be able to slide all of this forward, like so. That'll all come off. Uh, these are sitting right here, and they're the two long screws. These two long screws. So you just pull those off. These should come off. There are nuts in here, so you don't want to lose those. Uh, and then this little bracket right here, there's four tiny screws. There's one, two for each side. Uh, these tiny little screws are here. Let's pull those off. And then uh, this bracket's actually free. It'll come off by itself. You might have to uh, lift up on the front side of this to get it to slide off. But then it should slide off. And then on the other side, same thing. And then it should come free. This is really hard with one hand. So then it'll come free, this bracket. As you can see, that's another spot where it's broke. It just needs to be uh, glued back on there. So when you get it to this far, you want to be careful of these pieces. There's one of these on each side. These are for uh, stopping the shells from feeding in. You don't want them to. Um, I put a little bit of foam on them to help them feed better. Uh, you take those out. Then you should uh, just have to remove this screw. And then there's a screw right here. And then this whole part will come apart. And... Uh, I'm not going to go into how to take this art. These will just will pop all out. Um, but basically you get the idea. Well, the only main issue with this gun is the ejector problem like most of them have. Uh, the guy I, I got it from tried to fix it. He put a screw in here. Uh, I put a bigger screw in there with another nut on it to help lock it in there tight. Um, I think it's just a hair bit short um, than what it should be because I can manually rack a shell every time. It's just when I try to put it gas in it and make it do it itself that it, it stove pipes. So I think if you just pull that screw off, put a taller one on there, um, you should be able to get it to work. Um, I don't really know for sure though. I have no idea what that extractor looked like before I started. But anyways, there's uh, just a little video for it. Like I said, I think it should be an easy fix. I just honestly don't really like this shotgun. Um, I, I like this one more. Uh, I just got this um, basically for free. So, uh, anyways, uh, looking to sell it, seventy-five bucks, uh, pretty good deal. It's like a two hundred and fifty, three hundred dollar shotgun. Uh, it comes with nine shells. Uh, nine shells. There's five there, and then the four more right there. So, uh, anyways, if you're interested, hit me up. Let me know. Thanks.